Welcome back, and thank you for checking out the second video as we are going to be doing a little bit of a walk around on the Antarctic Star 15 inch cigar humidor. This can be found at rwflame.com under the cigar humidor section, and I'll put a link in the notes underneath as well. If you are a cigar smoker like me, which maybe you average one to two a week when it's colder out, maybe not even, but you also have a desire to get good buys when boxes come out on sale or you have a particular brand that you like, you are somebody that needs a cigar humidor. I've talked to a number of experts in the industry, and after telling them how I consume and what I like to do from a saving money perspective, uh, they tell me that I'm a guy that needs a humidor. This one might be a little bit big for some of you. It says it has a 400 count availability to it. Uh, I got it more for box storage when I get them, but also have a number of singles and ones that I would just like to put in the humidor anyway outside of the box just to see what it looks like. So that's how I'm going to be using it. I have spent the last three full days seasoning this. If you saw the video before this where I did the unboxing, you notice that I had a little trouble putting on the handle. Uh, I did figure that out. You do have to take out the weather seal on the inside, which I'll show you here in a second, in order to access the screws to tighten down the handle. Also, the directions that come with this are not great. Uh, there were really no seasoning directions, so I took my cue from Tim Swanson over at Cigar Daily when he was doing a review on his new air that he had just got. Uh, for two days at five degrees above the temperature you would like to hold it at. So right now I've been seasoning this particular one at 73% humidity and 68 degrees uh, internal temperature or inside the temperature of the humidor. I say internal temperature because I'm a barbecue guy. I'm going to be keeping the humidor at 68. So five degrees above is 73. I'll be dropping to 68 as soon as I load these in. Uh, you will notice also this is a built-in and uh, a all-in-one solution. So as I mentioned, it does do uh, hot and cold temperature-wise, also humidity, and I'll show you the humidity chest underneath or the drawer. And you can see here at the bottom, this is where all the exhaust and intake would come as the unit runs to keep proper temperature and humidity and things like that. So if you want to build it into something that you have already existing, you don't need to keep space around it. Everything happens in the front. One of the knocks that I have heard about this particular unit is you have to open it all the way in order to access the trays here. It does come with uh, three trays, one, two, three, and then this bottom one is where the humidification happens. So if, if it's just open like this, the tray is uh, not going to come out. By the way, uh, this is the weather stripping here, or the seal that you need to pull back in order to access the handle there just to close that up. So you do have to open the door all the way up, and then these will slide out. The little pegs that you ride up to re-secure them, uh, they all come out the same way. And then uh, additionally, each drawer comes with a divider, and you have uh, two different sections that you can put that in. Um, I took one out of the bottom one altogether because the bottom one I'm using for uh, box storage only. So I didn't need the divider in there. And then, as I would mentioned, here you have the completely self-contained humidification. So all you need to do is keep distilled water, and it's got to be distilled water. Don't be tricked by things that say... Words that look like distilled uh, could be spring water or mineral water. Don't use any of that because it's going to um, not evaporate properly. It's going to cause these to discolor. Um, it's going to cause a quicker end of life for the whole humidifier itself. So distilled water is what you need to do. Um, another one of the complaints that I've heard about this is there's no real way to tell how full it is. Um, this is the port in order to put the water in. Uh, you can also disconnect the fan. You would take 
this one, uh, this shelf out. You can disconnect the fan and then just lift the top off if you want, but you can also just use this port with a funnel. It does not come with a funnel in order to fill it up. Uh, I found half a gallon is what fits here. There's also, uh, the door's been open too long. Um, you can see here there is a sight glass for how full the unit is. Stand by. Uh, but I've also set a reminder for every two weeks for me to come in and just visually take a look. Uh, this is the fan, obviously. And then just put that in, and you're all set. There's also a uh, metal tray that separates uh, directly above the humidification drawer and that first storage drawer. All right. uh, you have all of your access here. Um, this locks automatically after, I don't know, 15 or 20 seconds. So you just can't go in and start making adjustments. You need to hold the lock button down and then hear it unlock. And now you can go ahead and make your temperature adjustments if you want. And you can make your humidification adjustments over here. And you can toggle your light on or off if you want. And uh, again, very easy. Go ahead and close that back up. So you can see everything as it sits from the door. You cannot make adjustments. Uh, you do have to open up the door in order to make adjustments. No big deal. The light's kind of a waste. It's only sitting on the top. There isn't any lighting on the side, uh, which would be nice. Plus, it's some weird colored blue light, which I'm not a huge fan of, but that's all right. Uh, handle is nice and solid. Uh, unit is uh, solid, nice, heavy. If you go back to the previous video for the unboxing, you can see how it came shipping wise. Uh, very nice, very easy to just take apart, plug in and get going. So uh, now I will load it up with cigars. And most importantly, put in my own hygrometer to test the accuracy of the humidity. It has been sitting in a Bovita calibration pack at 75% for the last day and a half. So it has been completely calibrated. So we'll make sure A, that that is accurate. And then after we load it up with cigars, we'll wait a handful of hours before we come back and check the accuracy with a independent hygrometer to see how accurate it is with the one that's set on the Antarctic 15 inch, 400 count cigar humidor. So stand by for that. Okay, we have three drawers, so this is like mostly the singles, and uh, four, five packs, and then I have my Oliva drawer, which is uh, only Oliva, mostly uh, Siri V Melanios in different sizes. Uh, the bottom here, I don't know if you can see all the way back there or not, but it's uh, box storage, so there's five boxes down here. Uh, there's 25 or technically 24 of these St. Francis. There was a box of 25 nubs and then there's boxes of 10 back there. So in total, total, you know, I'm, I'm well below what the, the max amount would be at 400. I, I, what I'll do is I'll let this restabilize for the next handful of hours and then I'll go grab my hygrometer, stick it in there. And then if I need to, I've uh, secured some styrofoam pieces to take some uh, space away as well within the unit to see if that helps stabilize temperature. So stick around and we'll be back in a couple hours after this stabilizes to put my hygrometer in there and we'll compare to the one that is built into the machine. We're three and a half hours into having the cigars back into the humidor. I have a 75% humidity calibration test with my hygrometer and if we take a look we can see that it is 76 which means we're one degree out of accuracy which is fine no problem it's been that way for 12 hours or so so we're gonna stick this into the humidor and see where this hygrometer measures with the one in the unit so I have it in the top row once again Humidor, box storage, we'll leave the shelf, and uh, the generals, singles, and so forth, randoms. And we are 
getting ready to do the hygrometer test. So it should be 65. I have that set at 65. I'm sorry, 68. And uh, we'll see where it goes from here. Close it up. And you'll see uh, this is the fan letting you know, the fan icon letting you know the humidity is running. This is the general circulation fan, and then when heating and cooling is running, there would be another one off to this side uh, that looks the same. So uh, we'll take a look and see where we're at. Um, I assume this is going to take some time to adjust, get up the temperature and all that. It uh, should be pretty quick, but we'll give it a couple hours to settle in. Again, we're looking for 68. You can see the unit itself here is recovering uh, fairly quickly, uh, already sitting at where it needs to be, 68. And then we'll just keep an eye on the hygrometer here which again has been tested and was at 76 it was one degree up so we're looking for anything 68 69 67 uh, i'd even be okay with 70 but i'd rather not so uh, i'd be okay at 69 or 67. again this is the antarctic star uh, 15 inch cigar humidor from RW Flame. RWflame.com is the website if you want to check it out. And we'll see where this looks at in a couple more hours. Come back, we are almost three hours into it. And if I push in, we're at 69% humidity and 67 degrees. We're at 68 degrees and 68 degrees on the humidity or the humidor itself so uh, being a degree high off of my humidor or my hygrometer it looks like we're right on uh, we actually might be a, a degree under um, which is fine uh, but again you can see we're you know right at 68 on the hygrometer for the or humidity, humidity control setting for the unit and my hygrometer is uh, 69 so that would be 68 off of the uh, calibration kit that I got from Bovida so uh, two and a half three hours in I mean we're pretty much dead on here uh, we'll try it again in uh, three or four more hours and see if we've leveled out anymore last check of the evening here five and a half hours since the last time we checked again i have the humidity on the device set at 68 and the temperature set at 68 temperatures on the left and humidity is on the right and then i have my calibrated hygrometer in the unit itself and you can see right there uh, that's measuring 74 uh, that's a little concerning for me I'm not 74 guy uh, would be much happier either at the target of 68 or a little less um, this is easily 4% more than I would care to see so we'll have to continue to monitor this over the next number of days uh, could be it's continuing to settle out and I might need to uh, put some stuff in it to take up some space uh, but just as a recap uh, this unit again self-contained heats cools humidity has three shelves and then its own humidity drawer down there with the fan and I currently have about a hundred cigars in there between uh, boxes and some of those boxes actually have the cigars uh, in them and then I have uh, cigars in the other two drawers and again, we're sitting at 74% according to the calibrated hygrometer that I've already tested that I had in there to check to see uh, how they correlate between what the unit says it's doing and what a calibrated hygrometer says. And we're currently sitting at 74. And that's pretty dead on right there at 74. So, uh, And the temperature is uh, right on, 68 for temperature. That's a smaller reading at the top, um, 68 right there to the left. So we'll give it a couple more days and I'll be back to check in after that.
while the video won't show what I've been doing, I've been messing around with this thing for the last couple days because, as you saw from the last time I had it set up, I was uh, pretty far into the you know 74, 75 percent humidity, which was too high for me. Maybe that's okay for you. And uh, then, as you can see, I took a bunch of styrofoam and some other stuff that actually uh, shipped along with this unit, started stuffing it in all of the empty areas. I didn't really seem to do too much, so then I started messing around with the actual temperature itself. And what I have, I guess, come to find over the last couple days is this thing is going to be running somewhere between 4 to 5% higher on the humidity side at points and other times it'll be much more closer to the set point for instance um, i've backed this thing all the way down to 65 percent humidity 65 degrees and if you look at the calibrated hygrometer oops, sorry a little too aggressive there um, you can see 69 so technically that's 68 degrees so I'm pretty much dead on uh, temperature wise again sorry for the uh, glare there so it's 65 temperature wise it's it's right on uh, I've moved that hygrometer from top front back middle front back and uh, the bottom row where the boxes are uh, all very similar readings so a couple hours ago I took all this stuff out of it and uh, readjusted the drawers so there was some even gapping and I think I'm gonna stick with 65 on the uh, 65 percent humidity on the humidor 65 degrees for the next handful of days uh, maybe a week just to gauge where it sits and then I'll post one other follow-up video from here uh, now how does that go for me recommending this product? Um, I think that's up to you. If you're somebody that can live with a four to five percent humidity swing, um, if this was a barbecue pit and it was something that was thermostatically controlled, four or five degrees, no big deal to me. I deal with 25 to 50 degree temp swings on cookers, depending on what I'm using all the time. Uh, so no big deal, but in this type of instance, especially once you get into the upper humidities, uh, you certainly don't want to be growing mold on your cigars. So that's why I like to keep mine a little bit lower. Uh, a lot of folks like to aim for that 70% humidity, 72% humidity. Uh, I, I like mine 70, no more, uh, just to make sure that I'm out of that uh, potential mold growth. I'm sure it's much more than that, but I would rather err on the side of caution here. So um, for a $750, $800 price tag and up to 400 cigar count, uh, the quality price ratio is, is probably there for a lot of folks. But again, that's going to be up to you if you can deal with temp swings. And maybe it's just my unit. I've seen some other reviews online, the same exact unit, and they have had no issues with temp swings. But I wanted to make sure I was giving you a full review with a calibrated hygrometer not just going off of what was on the unit and this is what we've been seeing here over the last week or so anyway that's wrapping it up uh, i want to thank the folks over at rwflame.com for sending me this unit for review and if you have any questions please drop them in the comments and i will answer we'll post some follow-up videos coming up in the weeks and months ahead thanks for watching